Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're doing wonderful this morning, this evening, whatever time you get to watch this. Thank you so much for joining me for another video of my short natural hair series. So we're going to jump right into it. I'm starting on freshly washed hair. I washed my hair with the Coco Kendall brand shampoo and their three-in-one conditioner. My hair is about, I say 90% dry and I like it like that. I like to style when I'm doing this particular style on either wet hair or damp hair. And the reason why I opted out for styling my hair while it was 90% dry versus that, that when you get out the shower, go right into styling because that that's what I would usually do is because I have an appointment to get to. When your hair is less dry or dry, depending on the style, then you don't have to start two and three days before. And it depends on the thickness and the length of your hair, of course. But this is a short, natural hair series. It can also work for longer hair too. The Do, the most depth. I absolutely love this. It's a standalone product, meaning you don't have to use five and six and seven different products. It's not a cream, it's a mousse. So it's gonna give you a slight hold as well as dry quickly. And so what I'm just gonna do is go through, starting at the ends, depending on the length of your short natural hair, you can probably just comb it all the way through. But in this case, I'm going to start at the ends. You should never, you know, try to comb your hair out on totally damp, I'm sorry, on totally dry hair, all right? And so, as you can see, I'm creating my part. And that's what I wanna do first. I wanna create, I wanna put whatever part in my hair or lay my hair in the direction that I wanna style it. If I want all the hair coming to the front and around the back, then I won't put any part. I'll make a part like in the middle part of my hair and kind of comb and then section and do it that way. If I wanted my part over here, I would put it over here. I wouldn't style and then try to manip manipulate the curls and you know, kind of break everything over to the side because then you're gonna get frizziness. You're going to, um, you know, after, after you've taken time to form your curls, if you are, you're going to you know, cause frizziness and mess up the uniformity of the curls. So then you would take your time and section the hair. You can section it, you know, in the back and four, depending on the length of your hair. Or you can just do it like this and work and work through. And so right here, I'm going to take my most depth, put a little on my hands, and I'm using this dimming brush. You may just be using your hands. Now you see how I just rolled that up? So it's different techniques. If you want a shorter look, meaning if you want your shrinkage to work with you, work with you and work for you, and you kind of want it to those curls to be closer to your head if your hair is a little longer, then you would do something like that. If you want your hair to kind of lay down when you're doing your wash and go, then you're gonna kind of shingle going this way and you see how it somewhat elongated the curl versus, you know, making it um, go up this way and be closer to your head. So right now I'm just starting off with one pump. And that's with the brush. And this is with my hands. And so I can kind of take some of that mousse. So I'm going to make a part all the way around the top portion of my head. To about right here and then I'm going to start over here and I'm just going to use my comb and again because my hair isn't super duper wet 
You see how those curls are still forming, but because my hair isn't super duper wet, I'm not gonna, you know, have to worry about going outside with a wet scalp. And I even use the mousse to kind of lay down my little edges. Okay. So as you can see, I'm going section by section. I have one big pump. And um, the, the manufacturer or the owner of the do said that you can definitely be liberal with this and that it works better that way. You saw how I literally only used one pump because when your hair is shorter, most likely you'll, you'll use less product. Not unless you're just heavy handed. <laughs> and with my hair being detangled, I'm able to easily form those curls. And please understand also, the product is not going to give you these particular curls, meaning We'll see a product and we're like, oh my goodness, look at, you know, her hair, but they have a different hair curl pattern. And so this is, you know, this is not, these aren't curling wands, meaning, you know, if you saw somebody who had crimps in their hair and you're like, oh, I like that, you can get that because it's a tool that heats up and will manipulate your hair to form those, you know, that particular, you know, pattern, but it's not the same for products. So if your hair is a little more tight, um, you have more tighter, beautiful curls, you know, someone like my son, Connor, um, then your curl pattern when you're doing this may look different. It's beautiful and it's yours. And so I'm starting to go into two pumps because my hair is a little thicker up here at the top. So that matters as well. Your hair may be shorter, but it might be thicker. So when you have thicker hair, you might use just a little bit more product. And so now I'm starting to, instead of going all the way across like that, this is a smaller section, so. And so I'm just using the Denman brush not to form the curls, but to kind of Go ahead and smooth them out a little bit. Smooth the hair out a little bit so the product can work with um, forming. And sometimes you might give it a little help. You can do that and just let it go and take on whatever form, or you can kind of manipulate the end to get a little bit more curl. If you want to um, have like the chunkier look, then you wouldn't separate the hair as much. And I purchased this dumb and brush um, from Sally's like a few years ago, probably like two years ago. And I rarely use it, really, because I like how my fingers 
Um, I like what my fingers do. I like how my fingers create the curls, but I do love how the bristles are flexible and um, all of that good stuff. And I probably didn't use it a lot because it's gonna give you those tighter forming curls because it's gonna separate the hair more. And what I mean by that is, you see how my fingers are thicker <laughs> and there's much more space. So here we have one, two, three, four, like four strands of hair. And of course from there I'll go and separate. But if I'm gonna use the Demon brush, this is going to give me, look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six, about six. So that's gonna give me a tighter, um, it's gonna give me a great definition, but it's gonna give me a, a tighter curl. And I want it just a little stretched. So that's just the difference. So you can do this with whatever comb, or you can do it with your dimming brush or whatever. But I want like a chunkier kind of formed um, look. So right here, I start parting. And again, I could have continued to slice this way and just kind of rake this way, but I like the little, it's almost like I'm giving myself a little natural hair pixie. <laughs> Cause you know how with the pixie, it kind of goes like this and like this. So yeah.
back. I like them to kind of hang down on my sides. I like it just a little smaller in the back. I like the chunkier curls at the top. So I just go back and kind of separate them a little bit. It's all your preference. We are done as far as that is concerned. Now, what I'm going to do is defuse my hair. I purchased this little blow dryer that came with this diffuser. It came with about four or five other little extensions that you can put on here. But I went ahead and invested in this. It was only $19.99 from Walmart. It does what it does. It does what it needs to do. I was one who stayed away from blow dryers because that is um, why I'm still in this stage, not because my hair isn't growing. I love the kind of lifted look, but I was blow drying my hair instead of diffusing my hair. I'm like, okay, I don't have to be afraid of blow dryers. I just need to make sure it's on the warm setting and um, I can go medium or high, but this really protects my hair. All of the heat is not on my hair. And um, I'm like, how am I finding out about diffusing your hair? Now I've seen people diffuse it, but I was like, I'm staying away from heat. But see how far this is away from your head. I love that it goes right into the curls without messing the curls up. So you can get in there even in your scalp without messing up the formation of your curls. It even has these little openings where the air comes out through here and also comes out through here so it can get inside of your scalp. And so what I do is I go in between, um, you know, I just go, the warm is actually good enough when my hair is like this because remember I didn't start off with damp hair. So yeah, that should be good. And I can also kind of circle around different parts of my hair without getting any heat damage. So my hair is literally dry and now I'm ready to go ahead and take some of this glosser after I do my edges with this slick and sleek edge control by Coco Kendall. I absolutely love this, um, this edge control. It lays, okay? And so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and just lay my little edges down just a little bit do a little slick and a slide <laughs> up here to I mean that's just the look I'm going for if you're not one who likes if you're not one who likes to do your edges then that's absolutely fine you can opt out for using the mousse and kind of just smoothing them down because if you're going to define the rest of your curls, you just want the rest of your hair to fall in, in formation with the rest of it as well. So I'm kind of, you know, just, just doing that. Doing it in a way where it doesn't look like I am creating a different style. Like you're not going to do the baby hairs you would do for a straight style. <laughs> so I went and opted out for more wavy, swirly, curly, little, you know, doodads around the front, okay? <laughs> so now I'm just gonna take my pick and I'm going to lift the hair slightly. I'm not going to be doing a bunch of lifting. The curls, again, I already have my wash and go. The curls are already set. I'm not going to comb through, lift it high. I'm just only lifting a little bit at the top because I don't want it to be so flat because the curls are kind of raised around the back, towards the back and the sides. So that's why I went ahead and raised the top just a tad bit. Let me put on my glasses. Yes, they are my real reading glasses. These aren't the, the Zio kind of just cute fashion glasses. These are my actual glasses. A lot of people ask me where I purchased them from and I purchased them from a Walmart, <laughs> okay? And so, um, yeah, this is the finished look. These are my curls. My little baby hairs are popping, of course, all thanks to the dew and their mousse death. And um, my edges um, are sleek and slick, thanks to Coco Kendall. Now for that gloss. Now this gloss is just gonna give me a little bit of shine without being oily. 
I hope that you enjoyed this video on um, how to do a wash and go. I hope that the tips that I shared was helpful. And until the next video, be blessed.